Good afternoon, everybody. Today, we are gonna take a look at the Human Wildlife Project again. This time, he's walking outside of a restaurant on Mother's Day, on a public sidewalk, just documenting what he can see from a public space. The people sitting outside, in public, eating, talking where everyone can hear them, apparently that's too much. You're gonna see a little bit of everything in this video. The staff goes nuts, the customers go nuts, police show up, and just try to intimidate the hell out of this man. So, stick around, you're not gonna to wanna to miss it. Watch the whole thing to the end. And by all means, go over to his channel. I will put the video's original link and his channel link in the description below and in the pinned comments. So, here we go guys, sit back. You're kind of making a lot of people feel uncomfortable um, filming. Would you not? Would you mind leaving, please? Bye bye. Uh, what are you doing, bro? You really like this is our business. Please leave. Just don't make this more difficult than it needs to be. Did that resonate at all? Okay. Are you feeling uncomfortable? You're just making our customers feel uncomfortable, so can you please leave? Please leave. I don't know. Do you want, I don't want to call the cops either. There's no point. But it's cool, but you gotta get consent from people to post people online, though. Like, I don't know what you're doing it for, but I mean, it's kind of making people uncomfortable on a Sunday. You know, they don't feel kind of weird about that? Mother's Day? Whoever's watching this video, this guy's making everybody uncomfortable. Even though he's within his rights, it's just it's awkward. People are trying to have breakfast, it's just strange. My dude, what are you doing? Can you not? You should at least identify yourself if you want to be filming people. You're kind of cowering out right now. What are you doing? You're trying to go viral on YouTube? It's not the way, man. It's Mother's Day. It's ruining everyone's brunch. You see how he's covering his face? Well, you're going to have to explain yourself, and he bro. Won't, he won't say a word. So he when law enforcement gets here, you're going to have to explain like why you're doing yeah. it. Yeah. You know? Like, what's the, what, do you have nothing better to do with your time? Like this is what you do on your on your Mother's Day. That is gross. Wow. Zooming in on people. Wow. What the fuck? And we do have police on their way. So. Oh, look, just, you can also just do this. Zooming in your face real quick too. You can totally just do this. So we, can, so we can't see you. There we go. Yeah. better for yourself. <laughs> Some good footage, huh? Awesome footage. Sorry. Just, Ethan, Ethan, it's all good. Let this guy have his day. Have his day, bro. Have his day. Have a good day, man. Now, what would you do if you were sitting down, eating outside with your family, regardless of who's walking around, and you saw four employees accost a man on a public sidewalk, grabbed him, grabbed his camera, tried pulling his camera out of his hands, all in public view, all in front of everyone, and no one does a goddamn thing. I'm so sorry you have to deal with this this morning. How incredibly weird, right? No one likes it, especially children. Hey man, you can do whatever with the adults, but leave the kids out of it, alright? 
Like, I don't know, like, you're not gonna be filming kids around here, bro. Like, we're, we're, we're leaving you alone, but don't film kids, bro, all right? It's always the women and children. Heaven forbid. Why do these guys always do this? This shit drives me crazy when I'm auditing. It's, the only thing I can come up with is it's projection. People get uncomfortable. They immediately go back to what is insecure in them. It's projecting. So the fact that these people come up and talk about children and about all kinds of other inappropriate things, I'm not even going to mention them. This is what's in these people's heads. This is what's in the back of their mind. You can, you can make me piss, do whatever, dude. Put one finger on me, though. It's over for you. You, Don't look at me with those eyes like that. What you gonna do? Like, what do you expect, bro? Just get out of here. Fail. Oh, yeah. This isn't gonna go viral. No one cares about your videos. <laughs> I dare you to put your hands on me, dog. I dare you. Because I'm not gonna touch you, but don't touch me. Don't, don't put a single finger on me, all right? Don't put a single finger on me. You gotta film me. Brother, touch me once. Just touch me one time so I can push you in the street. One finger and you're done. Don't play. <laughs> Don't play. One finger and no ass leave? in the street. Just fucking leave, bro. One finger. Now remind me, what would happen if an auditor acted like this? If an auditor got in people's faces and threatened them with lay one finger on me, threatened them with pushing them out in the street, threatening to take physical action against them, fighting words. Cops love those. All this stuff. Imagine if the auditor was doing it. But these people get to get away with it. No repercussions. No consequences. Nothing. What are you doing? I just don't understand. And here we have the Seattle De Police Department. The Blue Line Gang. Now, what do you think is going to happen? Do you think they're going to investigate? Do you think they're going to look at videos? Do you think they're going to do anything to see if what these people are actually accusing this man of is correct? I'm sure I don't have to give you guys too many guesses. These cops are basically going to try every single thing in the book to intimidate this guy to push him off to scare him you just you gotta watch you just you wouldn't believe the depths police will go to to entrap members of the public that they don't agree with especially if you're out in public exercising your rights i'm officer caulfield you're being recorded what's going on Are you just going to be silent? Okay, fair enough. I'm going to explain what's going to happen right now. So apparently we're getting a whole bunch of calls that you're harassing people here. I don't know exactly what's going on. Right now you're not in trouble. You're free to leave at any moment. However, what's going to happen is these other officers are going to go talk to a couple of the people here who are reported being victims of this assault. And they're going to try to establish to see if you have constituted the crime of stalking. If you have constituted the crime of stalking, you'll be placed under arrest for stalking. But at this point in time, yeah, you can point to whatever you want. I'm explaining the circumstances. You're free to leave right now. However, we're going to conduct an investigation. And we'll get back to you. I'm going to stay here with you to make sure that you don't assault or hurt anybody here, okay? <laughs> uh, Shields, if you want to just go talk to them, so I'll hang out. Obviously, you probably know you don't have to talk to me at all. I really don't care if you do or don't. 
but we'll just hang out for a bit. Looks like you're shaking a little bit. Your arms either are tired, are you nervous? Are you shaking out of anxiety, out of fear? I'm just trying to get your mental state right now. Is there a specific person you're trying to record? Someone was mentioning you're recording children. Is that true? Just curious. You also seem to be wearing a winter hat and a ski mask, which is kind of placing probably people in fear. It's kind of odd given the weather. Also, ski masks are usually worn by people who are intending to conceal their identity. So, just try to figure that out. Well, I was explaining that he's currently free to go because we haven't finished our investigation, but once we can talk to a couple of the victims here, see if they are feeling fear, he might be placed under arrest. Uh, his kind of general appearance with the ski mask and the winter coat, it's probably, it's causing me alarm. I'm sure it's causing other people alarm. So, I'll figure that out. He's shaking right now, nervously. I don't know if that's him anticipating to do something, anticipating to run, I don't know. But I'll hang out with him if you want to go over the investigation. Now, this is the tyrant that everyone needs to look out for. This man's playing PsyOps. What a piece of shit he is. Who does that? I don't know how people still have respect for police. I have no idea. And if you think that's it, just gonna get worse. Are you from around here? Stalking occurs anytime you intentionally and repeatedly harass or intimidate people. One of the sections of stalking say it's completely dependent on what the victims feel. It has nothing to do with the offender's intent. There's actually, I think it's subsection 2 specific, 2A. It says regardless of what your intent is, if they feel that they're being intimidated and harassed repeatedly, then you have committed that crime. Further, there's another subsection right below it, which says once you're given notice, that you are not or you're conducting unwanted contact and you're intimidating and harassing them if you continue to do so it constitutes prima facie evidence basically means not up to interpretation you're just automatically committing that crime so like i said they're going to talk to all these people and see if they feel like you're intimidating and harassing them and once they tell us we're going to give you that warning and then if you decide to keep standing here i'm going to arrest you for stalking it's a gross misdemeanor and what's going to happen, I'm going to take you into custody, I'm going to fingerprint you, I'm going to run your triple I, and if you've been convicted of harassment in any other state, it's a felony. I'm going to stop right here, guys. If you want to see the end of this, and trust me, you really want to see the end of this, go over this man's channel, Human Wildlife Project. Subscribe, give him a shout out, tell him PNWT sent you, and trust me, go watch the rest of this video. So guys, with that, I'm going to get out of here. Till next time, we out!